previous vids, I've covered this automatic tracking versus gun sight switch and the manual weapon control. Today, I'm handling the weapon system selector. It does a number of things, some of which overlap with these other two controls. And it's probably the one you'd very rarely use. Normally, you'll only use it if you hate technology or technology hates you and your systems have failed. Bonus round, how to get moving target prediction on your rockets. You probably only need to know that moving is the default and fix has its uses. And if you really hate progress, manual mode is for you, while fail and nav are backups if your combat and nav computers are inoperative. So moving is what you're used to. Calculated impact points based on your schwal is pointing and contrast lock with ranging, elevation, target lead, etc. This is likely your norm for most flights. And PS, despite what the ED manual says, I don't believe moving around target has any impact on Vichers in terms of its flight path. It won't start leading, it will just follow the beam and do a pure pursuit towards where your schwal is pointing. Now, fixed mode stops your cannon from moving. Often used if the cannon is now functioning. Your cannon is now effectively bore sighted and you'll see a gun pepper, a second circle, appear with the dot net. If you're still on automatic tracking, the schwal will continue to range, inertial track and contrast lock, whatever you lock with it. It's your job now to fly the craft so that the gun pepper aligns with the target circle in your head when you fire, just like unguided rockets in the normal automatic tracking moving modes. Note that getting a more accurate ranging, setting moving ground target or even changing from high explosive to armor piercing ammo types will move the gun pepper as it recalculates the trajectory. So get your settings and ranges correct before you run in. Activating moving ground target or airborne target with a laser lock target will also move your pepper to account for the lead. Moving mode doesn't give lead calculations for the UPKs and the rockets specifically. I think both these cases, they're bugs. That's not the way it's written in the manual and it doesn't make sense that it works that way. Fixed weapon system selection you'll mostly use for failures or if you want the Schwal to operate normally but manually fly in your cannon run. Also if you wanted a moving ground target lead calculation for specifically the UPKs and the rockets, at least until it's fixed for automatic mode. In terms of failures, your ecran will tell you to use fixed gun, with messages like turn on standby reticle use fixed gun, or use fixed gun, surprise surprise. Maybe also no gun stop lock would benefit from the fixed gun. Note the ecran message, gun drive failure, means your cannon's toast. You might still be able to slew it, but your cannon can't shoot anymore, which is mostly the damage state I got from AK dude here to inflict on me in the close tests I did. These lights up here aren't warnings. It's just to let you know that your cannon has been slewed off bore sight. I couldn't test what happens if the cannon's off bore sight when you lose only articulation. Now, previous guide, I covered the manual weapon control mode. In all my previous vids, if I said go manual, I meant that. Manual control. Backup manual weapon system selection is very different from manual weapon control mode. You'll see these titles are way too similar. If you hover over them with the mouse, manual slash weapon control switch versus weapon system mode selector. Just think of it as manual control and manual selection. If you really hate computers and any form of aiming assistance and you think you have a really high midichlorian count, then manual weapon systems is for you. Your cannon is ball sighted, your Vichra APU launcher is no longer depressed, your pipper can't compensate for target inertia, movement and you can't even laser range though your Vickers will still beam ride. 
So more of a mode if your computers in Schwal fail completely. Manually gauging the range, if a BTR like this is in three quarters view, it's at 1.1 Ks if it's half the radius of the HUD circle. Obviously these are fudgy guesses and if you're coming in a radical angle, there's when the target's moving or a different size, you'll need to compensate watching where those traces go. If your NAV or combat computer fails, you can have the other take over some of those tasks with fail and NAV respectively. It won't track lead for moving targets and your cannon is bore sighted. It can still contrast lock and laser range. Other than emergencies, I don't see a tactical use for this. As before, the shark tells you when you need to activate one of these modes. Tells you she's hurting for she keens. Use fail if your nav computer has failed. Typically, if you see the nav C, nav computer, error light up here, or their CRAN message, turn on nav backup, or nav data memory failure, maybe. Use nav if your combat computer fails. Typically, the CNBC light here, or their CRAN message, weapon control memory failure, or maybe turn on man attack, use HUD TV. I don't recall if I've seen these messages, so this is going off the possibility and the likely solution. Note perform nav pause fix is related not to this weapon system selector, but correcting your INU drift, which isn't currently implemented on DCS and the Shark. So in summary, blink and you'll miss it. This is Volk. I'm going to leave you now just as your brain's about to explode. Have fun with that. Cheers.